Pedro here with Cinemild. Excited to bring you a new product that actually fits both the Ronin dovetails and the Movi dovetails. And not only that, they fit all of the dovetails. So the original factory dovetails and our own Cinemild Pro dovetail system. So, you know, when you buy a gimbal, sometimes you get... Um, a rod support but actually more often than not it does not come with any rod support whatsoever um, and in the case of the original Ronin one they used to include a uh, rod support but it actually used screw on um, rods which honestly I'm not a huge fan of because depending it first of all they're hard to get tight and then you're gonna use your focus motor and then they get loose so screw on rods are no good um, so, uh, what we have, we have here our new rod support and, uh, has a, you know, it's pretty straightforward, but it has a couple things that we made sure were a certain way. And the first one I want to get into here is, so this is a Ronin 2 dovetail right here, factory dovetail that comes with the Ronin. One of the things we wanted to make sure of is that it did not stick up past the base of the dovetail. Now, um, the reason for that is, I'm gonna show you a quick photo here of exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the reason for that is, is that if the camera happens to stick out past the end of the dovetail, uh, if you had a rod support that actually sticked up past the, the top level of the, above the floor of the dovetail, uh, the camera wouldn't sit flat on the dovetail. It would actually be a little bit crooked. So we made sure it wasn't any taller than all the dovetails. And um, we also, what we did is we displaced it a little bit below the dovetail. And the reason we did that is so that when you have a very large diameter uh, lens, the rods are actually slightly farther away from the lens, allowing you to position the motors a little better, just giving you more room to set up your lens motor. And so, you know, um, one of the things I wanted to point out, so this is the factory Ronin dovetail. Um, we got the original Ronin 1 dovetail. We got the Ronin uh, M and MX dovetail. So it works on that. Uh, works on um, Ronin 2. So the Ronin 2 actually doesn't come with any rod support. Uh, it comes with a base plate, but the base plate actually displaces the camera even higher. So in most cases you want it is drilled and ready to go um, for the rod support that we make. And so you can keep the camera profile really low, use the included Ronin 2 dovetail that came with your kit, and um, it'll bolt right on. Um, and so I have here a M10, M15 dovetail. I have our own pro dovetail for the M10, M15. And, you know, this is just, uh, here's the dovetail for the Movi Pro uh, that we make, our Pro dovetail for the Movi Pro. Now, it's just important to note, um, once again, it doesn't stick up past the base of the, the, of the dovetail and it's displaced lower. And our, we managed to drill our holes in a way where you can use the same, it's the same part number, you can use the same uh, rod support bracket that we're making on the Movi or the Ronin. Um, they do use different screws. So we have included uh, two sets of screws, which each uh, rod support. So there's an M4 screw set, and that is for the Ronin dovetails. And then there's an M3, uh, which is slightly smaller, uh, which is for the, the uh, Movi dovetails. So once again, they fit both. It's just one part number. It fits both Movi and Ronin. It fits on factory dovetails, as well as our own pro dovetails. Now we have our Ronin 2 pro dovetail coming out soon. Of course, it's gonna mount up to that. And uh, you know, here's some motors, and so you can slide them in. And they're just, it's a 15 millimeter rod uh, on the lightweight studio spacing, which is 60 millimeters apart. And uh, you know, you can mount motors, you can mount, um, lens support possibly if that's what you need or in our case here we have a uh, very lightweight misfit atom uh, mat box which is a clip-on but it also comes with a rod mount option so 
sometimes if you have a lens where you don't have the right um, sort of uh, uh, adapter ring to fit the size of your lens, you might have to use the rod support. And so, of course, uh, of course, uh, you can get the bright tangerine matte box. This is now directly from Cinemild. We have them on our website. But yeah, so you can use the rod support for the matte box, um, you know, just by threading in some rods. Uh, we will be selling rods as well, but currently right now it's, it's, uh, it just comes with the rod support bracket and two sets of screws for Movi and Ronin. So this one's pretty straightforward, guys. So that pretty much covers all of it. And uh, it's, it's just it's a small, simple accessory, but it, you only need to get one and you can work with uh, all the different dovetails out there. And uh, I know I won't be leaving home without it. I'll probably throw a couple in my kit. Um, just really excited to bring this out there because it's a small thing, but uh, you know, dealing with, I was using the old DJI rod support, which had the thread in rods, which I hated. Um, so, you know, now we got the Cinemilt version, which is actually less expensive than the DJI version and a lot of other versions out there. So not only is it less expensive, it works better. And we thought about that top distance and the displacement down so you can work with large lenses. So, all right, guys, um, make sure to check us out on Instagram and follow us on there as well as Facebook. You'll get the latest product announcements and occasionally uh, we also have a, a Cinemilled Facebook group now where we will, we are planning on making some special announcements just on the Facebook group for those of you that follow us there. But uh, that's it guys. All right. Uh, I'll see you on set and uh, thanks for following us.